here, fresh upgrade. We need new spot, okay? okay. You make it fit. I give you the keys. But I'm gonna show you this guy here. We need fresh upgrade. You cannot see the track. Uh, first of all, here, fresh upgrade. We need new spot, okay? But the baby team. So come and get all the tools. <laughs> So you know where it is, right? Oh. It's fitting. It no fit. You make we it have fit. A small shop. It you, don't fit. You make it fit. I give you the keys. Now it's your Go. responsibility. Now it's mine. You see? <laughs> now it's mine. Hey, what's up, guys? Digital Marit is here, and we have something very fresh for 2024. The new trailer has come over here with a fresh upgrade, and let me show you how it looks. So thank you so much No Pixel for the design and thank you Fresh Upgrade for the installation. You can hit both of them and I can give you the code you can use very soon. So give me a message if you want a cool design and if you want a very cool installations in LA. Let's go. Well, the new merch is coming out and this is just the beginning. You know, when the LA doctor is gonna go with the TTD. Fresh Upgrade got us, and we're gonna have a lot of new stickers, a lot of new t-shirts, a lot of new hoodies, uh, keypads, I don't know what else they make, but you know, we're gonna be all fresh up this year, so come stop by on the booth, get some merch for your shirt, and get some fun this year, okay? So it's Thursday morning, we have a water leak, the last couple of events on the van, and I tried to fix it, so um, the neck for the water pump, it was full rust, and I was working on this one. Try to fix that and I do a pressure test. We have to do a special order for that. Anyway, we replace that and it comes in the morning today, which we're supposed to leave today to go to LS Fest. Uh, I put everything together, it was not leaking from there and the hose to go to the heater exchanger inside there, it's broke. Oh, the good people for Amazon, sorry, for AutoZone and Orali, they have this exchange thing so you can cut your hose slide it in and replace it hopefully that's gonna work and it's gonna be the last thing it's gonna broke fingers crossed let me show you where is that thing going it is going you need to get a different angle it is going inside no on the other side inside there do you see zoom in over there so fingers crossed it's gonna work so after we change the water pump neck, uh, everything looks like it's working, but we broke the other hose, right? Are lucky and we find the neck replacement which these good people have made, so we don't have to change the whole hose. I changed it, it was nice and it looked like it's not leaking. So now we apply with this special tool pressure, we apply one bar, it's probably never gonna see so much pressure, hopefully. But it looks like it stayed there. I'm gonna leave it for 10 minutes to make sure we don't gonna have any leak. And when does that happen? We are good to go to put water on it. I'm gonna put water, we're gonna go to Vegas. And after Vegas, I'm gonna remove all the water and put coolant on the system. So that's my plan to make sure everything is okay because this thing have, I think it's getting uh, five gallons of water. So it's huge. Change the oil, we're gonna put the 10 gallons of oil. <laughs> crazy how much how much oil he's taking we're gonna put oil on the thing install everything waiting five more minutes and after put water and we're good to go with the van hopefully fingers crossed nothing else is gonna happen with the van we have to do some wiring to give power to the new trailer which i'm gonna show you in a bit how it look like i'm super excited about that yeah so wish us luck i hope we're gonna make it we need to be there tomorrow morning eight o'clock in vegas so we still have a lot of things to do. To do. We need to go to some Mahmami to make the wiring for the race car because I changed something and I cut something. So he needs to do something like that. But yeah, everything looks like it's going in the right direction. So let's get it. Okay, so good news. No water leak, no oil leak. So we're moving forward there. The, the van, it's ready. We're working on the trailer. I'm gonna show you the livery in a little bit. But look at that. We remove all of them and we get brand new LEDs. 
and I have Isaac working here. What are you doing, sir? Changing all the LEDs on the trailer. Okay, okay. So now we, we're gonna have a little bit more spicy lights, right? And I have the new yep. ones already installed here. Okay, okay, that's gonna look good. I'm going to have the um, 12 volt all running to the 12 volt when we're moving and we're traveling to charging all the time the batteries on the back, which I get more cycle batteries now. All gonna work, they're all gonna uh, charging and we're gonna have the cooler and all that stuff and all of them, they're gonna work with that. So I'm super excited about that too. So um, where we're working now is deep cycle batteries. I have on the previous video, this is, this trailer will come with two marine batteries. I installed a lot of 12 volt stuff and it's look like the deep cycle batteries, it's not enough. So I'm, I get two more. I install one of this, half of, half of this one. And now I have this 12 by 8, 100, uh, 88. So this battery should be good enough, one, one extra, but I get two of them. So we have two of these babies. I'm gonna tell you how it goes. It is one of the cheapest on Amazon. It is not the cheapest, but it is one of the cheapest. Super happy with the other one I have, the little one. Here, let me show you how it is. So this one up here. the other two things and we should be good what do you think we'll be totally fine with this yeah oh i like your new hat thank you what is that inside okay so do i show you i have 12 volts here no bah. yeah this trailer is actually really nice bah. Bah. guys what are you doing i am gonna go silicone the rest of the lights and let you know when i'm done okay i just connect the batteries See here, I have put one measuring point thing so I can see voltmeter and they show me the capacity and how much battery I have. This one was like all the way down to 11 and a half because I have the fridge working here. Start to put it on stuff, it's taking a lot of power, I guess. And that was the reason I upgrade the 12 volt. Of course, we throw some kits of wise up here. So let me show you, that's the connection over here they are all connecting all these three batteries they are connect with this one and this battery it's only for super winds and the outside lifting for the trailer over here this one so that's the only connecting spots but i'm gonna show you this guy here so he has already finished look at that look at this perfect fit i love it when when he's doing so clean jobs Oh my God, look at that, so good. Here, he's making the gap and he's gonna put silicone on between because if you see over here, we don't like the way it's look. He's like, let me fix that. He's gonna put silicone, he's gonna make it all good looking. I like the job. Thank you. It's Thank look you. good. Uh, how it's going? Just gonna line I try this to up. Don't, I tried to don't sew the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna get the silicone and be ready to go. Yeah, we are pretty much very close to make everything done and load the car. This is one of the very nice upgrades. I'm gonna show you how I install, uh, how I put this one in the trailer and you can have it on the pits and it's super easy. We have the tents, we order some new ones. They are coming on, I think later, but yeah, pretty happy how things turning out over here that was a spot to i never use it so it's, this is the water tank this trailer you can have this one and turn it on and have water so i'm gonna work on that to find a way to connect all of that nice we can have water also on this trailer so pretty exciting Woo. so we are on the highway 91 and we have a new visitor over here we're gonna have snow all this year. We're gonna get him with us. I'm gonna tell you how that goes. I hope it's gonna go well. We load the car, we take a shower, we get the decision. We're gonna go after we finished everything. We're gonna hit my mom's shop, new shop. I don't remember, it's a number again, but I don't remember the number. Anyway, hit him there, we go there. Trailer feels good, new lights feels good, everything is okay. The car is good. The car is not perfect, but it's good. 
we need to go to change something on the wiring, the new lights from the ECU for the link, and we need to install the O2 sensors in a different spot. That's, that's the plan, that's what we're going to do. We finish that and we're probably sleeping somewhere on the road or we hit the road to Vegas. We don't know, we'll see. Something very sucks is Chase, just so you know guys, Chase, the ATM is working only from Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's it. After 8 p.m. it's not working. You cannot use the ATM. That's that's a new thing. I never have heard that, but yep, Chase new rules. So we're gonna hiding. We're gonna show Mahmoumi's new place. I don't know, maybe we can see how his new car going. So, yeah, follow the journey, hit the like, subscribe on the channel, please. That's how I'm gonna know you guys watching all of that. You know, we don't keep the camera on for no reason. So. All right, guys, we just made it to Sam's shop. Let's see what Margarita is up to. Hey, what up? So, here, Sam Mahmami, his self. How pronounce your last name? Magmumi. Magmumi. Yeah. Okay. Why, why they call you Mahmami? My daddy, he said. <laughs> Mahmami, my daddy, you know. My good friend Sam, he helped me the last time when we was in Atlanta. He, he helped me basically with the wiring on the car. What you're gonna see now in the car, it's not his wiring, but yeah. We come to change, to do some last changes before we go to FD because he's so busy with his car, which I'm not allowed to show you what he's doing, but you guys gonna be crazy with his new E36. So yeah, we have the, we remove the dust. We're gonna do new link wiring for the O2 sensors. We're gonna, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go straight to the ECU before it was through CAN because some have to do some stuff on in Atlanta to make it work because of the lights of the FD and all that is kind enough before we go to Vegas to come over and, you know, fix the car. He's like, he's like, I don't want you to go like that. Now the other sensors, they're gonna be on the right spot. I think we're gonna talk with his brother, which he's on Libano, Italy. This guy is in Italy, he's a programmer, and yeah, we're gonna, you know, fix this issue once for all, make the wiring for the plug-in for Kevin to connect the lights on the windshield. Check this out. BMWs, if you go and check around, you can go and yeah, check around. around. It's right all full of Supra, new BMWs, old BMWs, like it's a mess. He have his own dyno here. He's gonna do very cool. The, the shop, it's not even open. So he's gonna open, I think in a one, two weeks after Atlanta or something like that. But yeah, yeah so, you know, that's gonna be the new spot for the old BMWs. go to Vegas, we find some other issues on the car, finally we finish the wiring, Sam's brother help us. We find out both of the O2 sensors, but both of them. I also, I connect wrong the Lambda, so it's my fault I guess, I don't mark them, I don't knew they have left and right or it's metal. So, Half on me, half of the part. Some he give us some new parts. Hopefully everything is gonna work okay. It look like we probably gonna be in Vegas around eight o'clock, which that was the plan. Hopefully nothing else gonna happen, fingers crossed. Hopefully we're gonna be eight o'clock there. We go to Kriakopoulos, get some tires, and when we have the tires, we hit into the track. I'm tossed, he's tossed. We are tired. Yeah, see you guys in Vegas. I'm very tired. Snow, be yourself because of the road. I'm really tired. It have crazy wind and the whole trailer is moving. 
I even see the big semi trucks. They moving, They're moving a lot. Like they change in lines. It look like we're gonna be on time in Vegas, but I need to take some nap. I think you sleep a little bit, right? Yeah, it should be good. We both gonna be toast. Yeah. <laughs> we have lumped up with working, right? <laughs> yeah. We have trailer to working, we have food, we have everything. How nice is that? Like we stop, go back, get some snacks. Yeah, but ready eat, to go. You know what I mean? It's something. Yeah, I think we are one hour away to Vegas. Okay, we go, we pick it up some tires for George. So we have tires to kill some. It's almost nine o'clock, not almost, it's nine o'clock. We need to run, baby. It's 30 minutes from here, so 9.30 we're gonna be there. And it seems like it's not enough time. We need to unload or maybe I have to run, go and do the meeting because they say, if you don't do the meeting, you cannot drive. So, let's go. How was your first lap? Well, I cannot see the track. Uh, first of all, it was raining today. So we lose the morning practice against some other people that come in every year. We don't know the track, but it's a fun, small track, you know. Yeah. Pretty good, first lap, we was testing, we, we have changed a lot the car, so I don't know what to expect. Even tires, the rear control arms, the new wise swap, everything. So the car feels good, the new changes we make, it, it, it's work. Yeah, let's let's see how it's gonna be the second lap. Yeah, on the first one, I make a mistake. I left early, I, I'm not sure what I, I cannot see the track, so let me. Transition. Send it. Sorry, we don't do so many videos, and I hope you guys don't hear this bike behind you. But we don't do so many videos because we was two days with no sleep, so we go straight up. And last night we made it. We sleep for seven hours. So it was like, I, I land to the one place and I wake back up like that seven hours after. Like, no joke, I don't even turn. Uh, so tired. But now I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling good. The team killing it. Yeah, so we got to fight first. We have a very good rap. We have Byron, which we're not going to do Byron on the top 32. So you're going to see us in top 16. I feel very comfortable. The car is very good. All the changes Jojo have made on the car and the team and the new Wisefab arms, they're working very good. I feel very confident for the day. Hopefully everything's gonna go well, fingers crossed. Uh, top 16, we're waiting to see with who we're gonna drive. And yeah, remember, full throttle, okay? Never lift. Is that, I'm sorry, that's Margaritas. And joining us here in his 2001 BMW E46, LS Doctor, LQ4, 675 horsepower. I've got to chill with this man early in his in his pro drifting career. And this man is one of my favorites for sure. Check him out. Margaritas at TGD Margaritas on Instagram from Los Angeles, California. Definitely an exciting driver to watch. Sponsored by LS Doctor, Lockdown Performance, Color Fitting, and Drive Shaft Pro. Here we go. Marguerite's nice initiation right along the wall, working his way through that first outside zone, and he's really on that throttle. Looks like he's already starting to put on a smoke show, throwing a nice angle through that second outside zone. He saw Jeff Jones put down a solid run, so he's right there with him as he transitions to that third and final outside zone. Give it up for Margaritas as he makes his way off the course, navigating through that smoke. Oh my goodness. Margaritas is a Greek champion for five years, three years of Formula Drift license winner in California. Second place overall in 2022. Hot pit fourth place as well. And he says his victory plans are to buy more tires. As Margaritas makes his way back up to the start line, see if he can top that first score. Right, he the second by run, makes his way down the straight. 
Throwing that car sideways almost right on the wall is Margaritas throwing all that angle out of that Wisefab kit in that BMW LS powered vehicle. Nice transition, full angle, lock to lock as he pilots his way through that second outer zone and just creating a smoke show for everybody, making it difficult to see him on the live stream. Can't even see him on the live stream or on the track. There he is as he pokes his way out through the smoke. Give it up for Margaritas. Gain that proximity. You want to jump the line. And there you and go. He did. He, did. he did. He jumped the line. Try to gain that proximity. Stay in the pocket. Here we go. Margaritas out front. Nice initiation. Both drivers making their way through that first outside zone. My goodness. Margarita just laid the hammer down as Margaritas makes his way through that second outer zone. Wow, look at the smoke show. Klee just trying to stay in the pocket. But Margaritas is putting down a clinic of a lead run. Klee looks like he's getting kind of lost in the smoke there. Yeah, I mean, Margaritas really did do a, uh, a, a clinic of a run right there. I guess that makes, makes sense why he's the number one qualifier, right? Yeah. So, you know, Klee did a good job trying to keep up with him as best as he could. But, uh, you know, that car is very fast, and it's going to be hard no matter what Klee can do to try to keep up with him. So what Klee needs to do right now is put in a good lead run, and then uh, hopefully Margaritas uh, will make a mistake for it if, he will, if he's looking to take the window here. Yeah, one thing that we've noticed in the past is sometimes you'll see that these the faster drivers uh, kind of struggle in, in the pocket with a slower driver. Here we driver. go. So here we go. Both drivers making their way down this race. Klee out front, and Margaritas giving chase as both drivers attack. Wow, look at Margaritas all over. The back of Klee Steele's vehicle. Klee filling out that first outside zone. Obviously much slower. Oh my goodness! Did Klee go off course, but Margaritas had a major correction there. Not sure if that was due to Klee's line. One thing that you must understand in the drift world, that lead driver has to put down a chaseable run. Was that chaseable? I couldn't really tell. It's hard to see from this vantage point, you know. it's. You know, Margaritas did a really good job following Klee, applying the pressure. He had a little bobble there at the edge of the uh, first uh, outer zone. And then coming into here, it seems to be not offline. What's yeah, Klee? no, I don't, I don't. I think that was a mistake from Margaritas. So here we go. Wow. Oh, Steel. Yeah, Klee Steel gets, gets the win. Klee Steel gets the win. Klee Steel taking out the number one qualifier. What's up, guys? We're almost done, not almost, we're done. LS Fest was blessed, everything was very nice, very good vibe, very good people. But now it's time to drive back home and leave this very nice facility, get the rig, go back home. I don't know if you can see that all complete with the van. This thing is absolutely awesome. I am in love with the rig, the way it's drive, the way it is. The trailer, it was such a bless, this upgrade I have to do. I really love it. The design, they're killing it. Fresh upgrade, the installation, so good. Design of my designer, everything, it's like, it's super, super nice. I am I am super happy, the setup. Well, my cut was good. My driving, it was very good. I make a mistake, I make a rookie mistake. I changed the tires brand on the top 16, and that cost me to straight up behind on a very good, decent driver. I was never saying I'm better than no one, and I try my best, and you can absolutely lose for anybody. So never be disrespectful, always be nice with everybody. And yeah, I believe everybody's capable to win, and every single person, and everything is on the table. I stayed up behind him, I was too slow, I stayed with third. These tires, they have so much more grip than the tires I used to drive. But now we need to go back on the mood for Formula 3. I need to get ready mentality about Atlanta. But before of that, we have to travel four, 5,000 miles. This thing have to do 5,000 miles. So wish me luck. I'm going to make videos all the time and try to show you guys what's up and what we're doing. God bless you. Stay focused and chase your dream. Never stop. Never, never, never give up.